Uh, but I also want to think about where our market's going to be set up and how it's going to be set up. And I think it's going to be right in front of the town hall here, right, right in this area right here. So we're going to start to mess with that a little bit. And, uh, and you see as you get close, you can see the outlines of buildings. That helps a lot. But we're going we're gonna to do something like this. Do a, a, a little circle here. Markets. We need a lot of them because we have so much more stuff than the game used to have. In all reality, we need so many market stalls just to have everything available. We're going to make a giant market. Be amazing. How do I know it's going to be amazing? Well, because we're making it that way. <laughs> We're making it that way, okay? Here we go. So first things first, um, we're going to make uh, a place to buy firewood. And we're going to do a resource supply, worker by cart, right, so we that. and uh, apply to all. Higher options. Again, when there is the option to only hire women and not men, we're going to only hire women. So apply to all as well. Get somebody working in there right away. She's going to start selling firewood uh, to these folks here. Previously, they could only get it here. They've sold a lot of firewood already this year. Uh, this is just going to be another option. And we're going to keep bringing our housing around this direction. So this is going to be a very important hub where they can uh, replenish their stock. Right. Another house going up. We have three people left in tents. Three three families left in tents. It's September already. So this is uh, this is crunch time, as they say, uh, in getting these houses done. So very important that we get this completed on time before the first snowfall. Or whoever's still in a tent is just going to say, you know what, I'm out of here. Even if the house is almost done, they're not going to wait. They're just gone. That will, that will essentially make the rest of our early game a living hell. Because if you don't have enough workers to spread around, you have, you have, and I'm telling you, barely enough people, barely enough people to do all the jobs that are absolutely required for your village survival early game. Before the next family moves in, you have barely just enough. I'm talking just enough. So we cannot afford to lose a single family. We can't lose them. We have to have as many able working bodies as we possibly can. And that's just the way it is. So, um, we should be fine though, because we just need two more houses, and uh, we're after a lot of raspberries too. <laughs> um, if I remember right, we need two granaries as well, so we're gonna have to uh, have to put another one somewhere. I guess maybe just back here. Squeeze you in here? Not yet. Uh, I need this to be gone. <laughs> then we can. So now it's just a waiting game. We have a lot of stuff queued up. That's fine. Ultimately, that's what we want. We want uh, constant improvement, constant stuff being built, unless we just, you know, need a little bit of time, which we don't right now. We just want to get as much as we can done in a short amount of time as possible so definitely important that we keep this up we're not one guy looking for a job let's uh let's add him in as as a constructor why not there we go now we just need one more house to be completed well, once this is finalized, and uh, which it almost is, 
right about now. And that'll be great. Then we're then we're home free. Then we have enough hands to work everything. Um, we're not going to lose any villagers to the first winter snow. Oh, are they getting a nice porch? Looks like it. Oh yeah, definitely getting a nice porch out front. Perfect. That's the house I would want. I would want the porch. A uh, little place to sit. I'm looking out at the water. It's beautiful. Be great. Absolutely great. So we're going to have to think about places for these guys to sit down and take a rest because right now this is the only spot so let's let's do a little bit of that as well so in our decorations we have uh, two bench types um, I like the the longer one for like you know the production buildings and such I'm gonna come in here and uh, do what sort of makes sense I guess and um, Put benches in places that make sense. And not not really overwhelm them. But just give them an opportunity to, to have a have a seat without having to go too far. If they have to come all the way here or go all the way back to their house, then uh, they will do that. And what that basically does is reduces the amount of Time that they can work, I guess, because they have to travel further. Take a sit down. We don't want that. We want them to be able to just plop down, have a rest right outside their workplace, and then get right back to work again. The taskmaster says, "Work, and you shall work." Right. Right. Yeah, see, they're already using them. Now we can get rid of these guys. We don't want these uh, <laughs> just logs out here. Actually, can I? Curious if I can. No, I can't. I was gonna say, can I copy this stuff? There's no way to to re to redo the. You know, it turns into a bench. <laughs> and you can't do the the little. You can't copy the the fireplace. See. So. You can't recreate that anywhere. That really stinks. I wish that you could. I would use it as a decoration in like the marketplace. I would put a little bonfire in here. That would be awesome. So, uh, you know, developer, if you're uh, if you're listening, if you if by chance you happen to watch my video about your game, uh, which I doubt, but if you do, cool. That's awesome. Um. I would like a bonfire fireplace type thing. That would be neat. More decorations is always good for games like this because you kind of get you kind of get the samey same feel in a lot of stuff, you know. Get somebody in here. Oh, we wanted a thousand of that. A thousand of that. Bring this down by one so they can they can have a worker in here. Down by two. Doggos may start barking now. Getting a little bit excited. Somebody's working in there, somebody's working in here. Perfect. Exactly what we need and the first snow is falling let's take a minute and look at this the, the weather in this game is is great is when your your camera goes through you actually go through it <laughs> go through the weather so these are actually in the game they're not just background somewhere and that is freaking awesome and when it starts to warm up again in February see the snow melt melts 
really awesomely. And then I might start to drop some more frames here and it might get more and more choppy as the snow falls, but uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I, I, until I figure out what setting I need to tweak, um, it is what it is, you know, and you have to suffer. I don't, I don't suffer at all because, uh, because, uh, yeah, I, I don't notice it. Smooth as silk on my end. So if you know the solution, if you're an OBS expert, let me know. Please, because I, at this point, I have no clue. So anyway. So right now our, our boat yard's going up. Oh. Blinding. Oh, God. Light, it burns. Yeah, that's blinding. Blindingly white. <clears throat> wow. Sorry. Winter time, so. Go. We'll check out the boat yard going in. There it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do. Thousand. Thousand wood. Fishing dock should be over here somewhere. It's right here. That's next. Watch it get put in as well. And blind ourselves as we look into the uh, look into the sun. Ah. <laughs> I'm not sure how they build this when the, the river's frozen like that, but you know, they do, and I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just going to accept the fact that next spring we can start fishing, and uh, and that's good. We need to. Check out what these guys have going on here. Lots of honey. Beetroot, horseradish, onions... Guys are set, man. These guys have cabbage, beetroot, raspberries. These guys have uh, nothing. <laughs> well done. Good job. These guys have some uh, some honey. Okay. Maybe they got in too late. Maybe these houses were built too late in the season. They couldn't plant anything yet. Nope. And nothing there as well, so hmm. Mm hmm Lots of honey though. Tons and tons of honey. That's good. So the fishing dock's done. We're gonna put three uh, boats in, in order. We're gonna order three fishing boats. And um That's gonna send the order over here. But they can't work in wintertime, so out of luck there. Now we're out of nails, so hopefully these guys are working. Oh, he's he was taking a little break, <clears throat> taking a rest. That is totally unacceptable. This is the granary going in. Perfect. Uh, he's back to work making nails. Perfect. He makes ten, and they're immediately used. All right. And once our granary is complete, we will hire someone to tend it, shuffle things around, purchase from our kind villagers who want to sell us, you know, literally tons of honey. That'll be fine. We still need 30 nails, so three more batches need to be brought over. I think he'd be able to make more than 10 nails at a time, to be honest with you. To be honest, I would presume that he can make more than 10 at a time. I don't know, but uh, need 10 more and we're done. Nails. 
Somebody's using the bench, though. I saw her uh, stop down there real quick. There's our nails. Perfect. Now we can build it. They should be rushing back over there. There they go. Perfect. All right, let's slow things down. So what do we have currently available? Well, we're gonna we're just gonna figure that out. We're gonna do labor by hands, cart, cart or wagon. We're gonna do everything here. We're gonna do everything that uh, our our villagers can produce, which is the beetroot, uh, the cabbage, carrots, cucumber, garlic, honey, of course. Uh, I don't know what hor Horoka is. I have no clue. If you know what that is, please let me know. Uh, horseradish. Uh, marrow, which by the looks of it is corn. So we're going to call it corn. Uh, onions. Um, peas. We also have pumpkin, raspberry. Those two as well. So we need another granary. That's why I, that's why I was going to put another one over here, I believe. Uh, but first of all, what we have to do, and I have to figure this out on my own. Actually, I think it was in the patch notes, but I, I, I think I figured it out just by playing. Buy from local producers has to be highlighted. And a worker has to be here. So... Again, men and women, we're only going to do women. He's going to work here now. And she's going to go purchase, on behalf of the village, the town center, some of that stuff that they're producing in excess. They're not going to sell all of it, only what they don't need. So, now we'll see what fills in. And at that point... Uh, as soon as she gets to work, we're going to see what they're selling to us. Then we will appropriately stock up the marketplace. We do need another, another granary. We'll put it back. I don't want to buy the school, though. I want it... Uh, hmm. Farm's going to be out here somewhere. I want, I want it closer to the farm. We're just going to do something like this. Put the granary out here. Right about there. And that'll be for raspberries and pumpkin. And whatever comes out of the farm. And whatever fruit trees we plant. Uh, which is in the uh, the orchards. We might want to do sooner rather than later. But it, we don't want to get... Uh, we don't want to overwhelm our workforce. To be honest with you. Now orchards can be can be managed by women. Fantastic. Another job that they can do. They can take over and handle that. And that's perfect. So now we're in March. Notice that. Snow's gone. <laughs> I forgot to slow it down so we could watch the, uh, the snow melt. Maybe you noticed it. Maybe you noticed it. Uh, so this guy, we need a worker here to build, to build the, uh, the boats. What that means is uh, we need less guy here. We just have to keep, keep taking away from our constructors so that these other jobs get done. And as soon as we have uh, a fishing boat, right now, we're going to hire a fisherman. There we go. Now we can uh, say, sell fish here. And we're going to have a lady working here. There she is. Um, Natalia. Here he is. Here's our guy out here fishing. He has 18 fish. Well done, sir. And uh, people are going to be rushing. I'm talking rushing to buy these fish. Watch this. As soon as she stocks it, people are going to run over here and buy them. I'm gonna... And one of the best things ever. Look at this. We have firewood here. It looks like firewood's in there. Fish here. It looks like so. Every every individual model 
is dynamic with what you put in there. If I had fish and like raspberry or honey, that would show up there. And that is amazing to me. That is totally amazing to me. Nobody is selling us anything yet. I I feel like that's not right. They should want to sell some of this honey. As they have a lot of it. A lot of it. Let's let's fire her. She's not working out too well. <laughs> and we're gonna hire somebody else. She might be the same person. Yep, it is. <laughs> we have another house. So one of the things uh, about the village houses is you have a, a vacancy. Not enough food for sale, which means there's not enough food on the marketplace. And no jobs available. Sometimes there's a job, sometimes there's not. So I'm not buying anything. Uh, we really need her to do that. Really need her to do that. Maybe we need the town center first. I don't know. But uh, they definitely have plenty of stuff to sell us, especially the honey, uh, onions, horseradish, beetroot. They should be trying to get rid of all their excess of those things. Definitely. We have some raspberries now. Cool. But uh, the town hall's coming in right now. So hopefully. Oh, here's my problem. <laughs> I. Uh, I forgot one very, very important aspect of this, which is to uh, to tell her that she can uh, she can keep so and so amount of of whatever item in here. Uh, this holds ten thousand or twenty thousand resources, so there's ten things it can have in here. Now she's gonna go out. Look at this. Boom. Honey and beetroot immediately. We'll see what she gets in here. Then we'll put it on the market. Yeah, I was wondering why. Um, so honey, beetroot, horseradish, and onion. Okay. Right here. Honey, beetroot, horseradish, and onion. Put somebody to work there. Perfect. What else are you getting in? Anything yet? Nope. Fine. Look, see, the, the models are different for every little thing, which is, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I can't tell you how good that is, that you're not going to see that on any other game that's currently out. You're not going to do it. It's not going to be there. It's just not. And, uh, and I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not going to be there. So this is, this is excellent. I'm really excited about some of these these coming in. Um, nothing new yet, so we'll keep an eye on that. See if they have any uh, like pumpkins or anything like that. Yeah, lots of lots of good stuff. Raspberries is going to be one of those things, but we don't have a spot in here for raspberries. We need our our second granary to do that. We need two more guys in here. And uh, I think our carpenter is going to be one of them. Nope. He needs to repair some stuff. So uh, we're going to bring a guy out from here. So our fish is going like almost as fast as we can, we can get. And we have enough food for sale now. So, at some point, a family should come from off the map where and just move in. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out. Yeah, look, at, look how beautiful this game is, man. Oh, here they come. Wow, they come from way over there. We got uh, the Svikar family. Svikar. Danilo and Shnishana, Shnishana, and uh, Mikita. 
Get banana. Four years old. There you go. They bring their own stuff. They bring some money. And he works at the boatyard now. He's a laborer. We don't really need anyone at the boatyard right now. You can work there now. <laughs> you can work at the fishing dock now. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, we will procedurally need to rehire someone in there to, to keep these fixed up just like the carts. It is what it is. That's just how it is. So one of the things we can do while we're waiting for uh, this other stuff to happen, we can try to finish our our market area, which we're going to do by putting in some... It looks like people are coming in straight away through here, so we're going to put in a gate here. We're going to put in a gate down here. And I think that's it. And we're going to do uh, some fencing. Make sure that they only go that way. And we'll come around like this. Thing. And then we can kind of decorate a little bit. We have a little space down here for, you know, whatever. If we need another stall or something. But um, I think what we'll do is we'll put, uh, we'll actually put a little gazebo in here. Gazebo one or two. Let's see. One is a hexagon square. So this guy. Kind of face it towards uh, the main town. Right like that. Put in some uh, some benches, sort of in a uh, in a circle around it, I guess. Make this place look inviting and uh, a place that you would uh, you would definitely come and uh, you know maybe bring the family, go on a little outing and and get your shopping done, and at the same time, it definitely. Uh, have a little sit down, have a little social activity with the community in this very social uh, setting. Forward to that, and I, I forgot a bench. <laughs> Wrong bench. We want. Oh no, that's the gazebo entrance. So I did not forget a bench. There we go. And we'll put in some uh, maple trees are new, so we'll put in some of those for some shade benches here and uh, by the uh, the bushes I just put in that's gonna look really cool uh, when it's all done and, and the trees the bushes didn't but the trees actually have to be planted by the foresters which I thought was super awesome you know amazing Put some uh, some some really tall cottonwoods out here. Well, put a little bit more. This one, and you can't cancel it, unfortunately. So um, when they plant it, I'm just gonna have to tell them to cut it down. That's okay. And our gazebo is it's it's not necessary for a long time, so it, it, we don't have to have it. In other words, we're not going to worry about it. And to to clean up our pathing, we can put in some uh, some fencing, sort of force them to go certain places. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, if, if wherever they want to go is fine, I just wanted to uh, to sort of set up a little uh, a little area where the marketplace is like a big deal. It's it's like a gathering spot. So we want to make it look that way. You see these guys planting the trees now, which is awesome. 
Got some maples planted. We got some cottonwoods planted already. Well then, <laughs> get rid of this guy. There. And the trees do not like just plop in, bond. They have to grow like trees do. You plant a sapling, it takes years and years for it to mature. Same thing happens here. You're going to see these trees grow slowly over time, which is uh, totally amazing. Uh, another thing we have is a bell post. We can put that in here. I don't know why, but we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to put that in here. Actually, we'll, we'll put that... Uh, put a birdhouse in here. Something interesting and um, I'll put the bell post at the uh, town hall again I don't know why we will maybe you, you ring the mayor and you're like hey I got a problem I got a complaint man get out of here all right anything new Oh, just a crap ton of honey. <laughs> well, the season's just started, so we're good. Now, okay, one thing before we get too carried away with decoration is we have to get our farm up and running before next year's over. We have to because people are going to start to freak out. They're going to leave because they don't have uh, enough uh, food to uh, chew on. So we don't want that. We're going to put our farm out here. You're going to jump this guy up in front of everything else like that. Uh, even in front of the town hall. Because it's not nece necessary for our survival of the town hall. It's just, it helps us. It gives us a lot of tools, but it's not necessary. So we're going to... Uh, oh, somebody... Oh, yeah. Somebody moved in. He's unemployed, so guess what? A constructor. Help us build the farm, bro. There you go. Uh, lots of fish. That's what we want to see. Lots and lots of fish. <laughs> we sold 93 fish this year. 400 firewood. Uh, lots of this stuff. Great. Cool. Tons of honey, though, man. Holy crap. Tons of honey. People are loving this stall. Look at them come up and buying it. That's what we want to see. We want to see people spending their money uh, and then, you know, selling their produce uh, to make more, make money, working to make money and this and that. And when they buy stuff from the marketplace, it goes into our pocket as the town administrator, whatever, comes into the village coffers. So that's going to be vitally important, along with the town hall, which gives us access to taxation settings and things like that. We're definitely going to tweak those because uh, with, without tweaking anything, we're going to go into debt at a ridiculous pace. As you see here, um, we're losing like 200 last year, almost, and we're going to be losing 300 this year at least. Probably closer to 400, and it's just just salaries and and local purchases. So we're buying from people. Local sales, we're not selling enough to to replenish, right? Land tax is not very high, housing rents not very high. We want to change that. Um, and exports, we want to start doing some of that. So we need a trading post to export. Uh, so now that we have these guys in, I think we can get rid of this. Go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, we do need a cart parking area. Which I think we're just going to drop in here. Sort of over by the production area. Over here by the production area. We might eventually have two of those. Right now, it's just going to sit right there. 
and the gazebo is not as important as those things primary school again not as important so we're just going to pause those two don't care they can sit for a very long time it doesn't matter right let's see doing all these guys have pumpkins these guys have pumpkins they have uh, maybe beetroot maybe Probably beetroot, horseradish. Maybe that's horseradish. I don't know. This by frosted. So they have beetroots. This is beetroot. This is probably horseradish. <laughs> or maybe this is horseradish. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what these things are. But it looks it looks so amazing. Like, wouldn't you love to live in a house where you had your own? Like every bit of bit of area was you're just growing food like wouldn't that be amazing most people have like here in the states you know if you have a garden you have a, a, a little patch right you have a patch that's your garden very small portion of your of your land uh, available land so this i would say would be my type of garden i just just plant stuff everywhere you know what Homeowners Association be damned. I'm hungry and I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat good this year. <laughs> oh no, we're out of horseradish. Yeah, what are we going to do? So much honey. <laughs> so much honey. We're going to have to export that for sure. I'm worried about the farm. It's nowhere near completed. Uh, but they're getting closer to having all the materials in there. I think we need a, a third person here. We're going to take them from the fishing area. We just need that to be done. Uh, sooner rather than later. We have a lot of fish. We have so many fish. We're just going to bring that down to one guy. There you go. We need this to be complete. Three working on it now. We soon will have a fourth, I'm sure. Does he? Uh, you no, know, he might take a little, you know, a little week's vacation. But you know what? I just got fired from the fishing place. I'm gonna sit at the house for a while. You know? Screw him. <laughs> Somebody else can build that damn farm. Uh, they don't need me. Got uh, Yosef. So I'm noticing still on my OBS that I'm uh, like 3.2% skip frames. That's going to be the choppiness factor. Again, I apologize. If you know the solution in there, if there's a setting that I need to, to tweak in OBS to get this to be crystal clear, smooth as silk, just like I'm playing it, then just let me know because uh, I'm not used to my stuff being choppy or 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 jerky like that. It just doesn't happen. Uh, I've got a pretty powerful computer, uh, really nice graphics card, lots of RAM. It's it's not like it's uh, it's a it's a performance issue. It's an OBS setting somewhere. Um, that I need to tweak just for this game specifically, because uh, you know any any of the game that I that I play, even even like Cyberpunk, it's perfectly fine, no issues at all. Uh, Conan Exiles, you know, no issue at all recording it, streaming it, things like that. So um, just let me know if you know, because otherwise I don't know, and it'll it'll just be like that until I figure it out. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry. Uh, again, it's 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 your problem. It's your problem to deal with. It's I don't have this problem. When I'm looking at my screen, I can move around and, and twist and twirl all I want with the camera, and nothing bad happens. It's just it's just it's just you know unfortunate that uh, that it's recording that way. And that, and again, I apologize, but it, it is what it is. I don't know how to fix it at this moment. So again, if you do, you're that guy or girl or or 
thing or whatever, if you, if you are they, please help me. Tell me. Okay? All right. Now we pause because farm is done. It's a little building. You're like, how is this a farm? Well, you add fields. That's, <laughs> uh, that's what you do. So we're going to, no, we're going to come back here. Right here. Come around. 50 is the max unit size or for like length on each of the sides. So we're going to stick to that. We're going to try to make a maximum capacity. Like, like that. Just like that. And um, since I have done this before, okay. I'm going to just, I'm going to make four fields and explain to you why I'm doing that while I'm doing it. So, this game requires crop rotation, which also requires a farm manager, which is great because you can make that a woman. Uh, it's another job that they can do, which they're going to do because they can. And uh, and it saves me from you know, spending a male citizen. And yes, I did just assume their gender. <laughs> um, on something that a, that a woman is perfectly capable of doing herself. So... Um, like I said, if they can do it, they will be doing it in our village because to be honest with you, we need that to happen. So it's very important that if a woman can do it, they are doing it. There we go. There's our four fields and the reason I'm having four fields is crop rotation we're gonna have uh we're not gonna hire men here uh, allow carts and wagons to handle this stuff we're not worried about water and hay right now we need uh, that's for oxen for plows and stuff we don't have those yet so we have a manager now and so that allows us to add rotations here so we have four fields so we need four spots for rotations now before this, there was only wheat, buckwheat, sunflower, potato, hemp, and fallow. So flax uh, and barley are new. And you'll notice to the right, you have um, these three colors, red, uh, green, and blue. So that's your nutrients in the soil. So this is what the, these crops are going to utilize or take out of the ground as they grow. This is what they're going to strip of the ground. So you have to be careful not to uh, exhaust the ground. So if you try to do sunflowers, which take 100% of the red nutrients, 60% of the green, and 30%, they take a lot. And you try to plant something like wheat or barley or potato after that, these are not going to grow very well because what they need is not in the soil. So that's another consideration. So what I worked out originally before barley and uh, flax were introduced was you take wheat, uh, buckwheat, and potato, and you rotate those. We're just going to rotate everything to the left. Buckwheat, potato, fallow, wheat. Left again. And one last time fallow, buckwheat, potato. That's our crop rotation. So every year, one of the fields is going to be fallow. Every year, we're going to have one of everything. One of the, one wheat, one buckwheat, one potato. And we're going to make these active. So next year, they'll, they'll start planting. Uh, but for right now, that's all we're going to do. We're not going to worry about flax. We're not going to worry about uh, uh, barley. So, there's that. 
for farm. So what this is going to do is, since we have it set to hire only women, these five slots are going to be filled by women with the, with the woman manager. And then they're going to have laborers down here that just fill up as needed. So when there's work to be done, they will open up labor slots automatically. And then whoever wants to work there will just come and work at the farm. Typically, it's going to be, um, you know, people without a job, you know what I mean? So, and then we have a town hall. And we have our mayor. We need a counselor to manage seasonal hiring. Have to have a counselor. We can also uh, disallow migration if we don't want people moving in, but we do. We definitely do want people moving in. And with that in mind, we're going to build a few more houses. Because we, we definitely need the population. We're going to do that. Actually, we're going to just do it on the other side as well. Right like that. Do another well out here also. Do that like, you know, first couple houses go in. And there we go. So the granary was completed. So in here, we want our pumpkins and we want our raspberries. We also want to come over here. This is just the easiest way to do it. Resource supply, add, apply to all. Higher options, apply to all. So we just want the women in here as well. Now we want, you know, uh, apples, apricots, and cherry. That's our tree crop. Um, we want the things we plant in our farm. So we want uh, buckwheat. We want uh, potato and wheat. We're going to want flour as well because we're going to make flour from the wheat. And same thing here. We're going to do 2,000 for each of them. Inevitably, we're going to have more stuff fill in that last spot. And we'll need... Uh, we'll need room for it quick and we're going to turn on buy from local producers and bada boom be picking up raspberries and pumpkins so we can uh, we can already put those in here we're going to do a raspberry pumpkin in here There we go. All right. Not enough workers to chop trees. Why not? Uh, bring that down then. How about that? Uh, we also want to fire this guy. And we want to, since we have a counselor now, manage seasonal hiring. So we can go in here now. This is the cool thing about this. The higher options, we now have this menu here. So in December, we don't want anybody fishing. In January, February, we don't want anybody fishing because those are the winter months. There's, it's going to be frozen over. Can't do anything anyway. And on season, we want three. Off season, we want zero. No. So they're automatically going to, March rolls around, they're going to automatically hire back some guys here. Same thing over here, December, January, February. One on season, zero off. So you can repair the things. Uh, let's see. That's fine. Uh, the farm, most important of all. So, don't need anybody there. March, April, May, we'll have uh, sowing. June, July, they're going to have off August harvesting. So, August through November, they're going to harvest and thresh and all this stuff. So, um, all five on the on season. We do want one on the off season, but not right now. 
<laughs> it's a waste of time right now. But, uh, yeah, look, so we got rid of some of our fish. We got pumpkins and raspberries. Look at that. Look at that. That is so good. That's so good. So, next year we're going to have some farms going in. And we got some, uh, some more housing coming along here as well. Hopefully we'll have some more people, some more uh, individuals to work the farm. And mostly it's going to be the women uh, that are just sitting at home. They don't have anything anything really to do except the housework and watch watch after the, the youngins. You know, the critters running loose. So they're going to get to, to make some money. They're going to get to, to do some work and... and but not that housework's not work or, or you know taking care of the kids isn't work. I know that all too well. But at the same time, you know, they get a they get to do something different. It really doesn't matter <laughs> in the, to the game. They don't have like emotional benefits from it, but you know, from a from a human standpoint, it's it's good to do something different every once in a while and kind of break that that boring routine of, of the day to day get out and do something more interesting or just, just plain different that, that always can help a lot. So hopefully somebody's going to move in right now and, uh, and, and help us do the farming next, next spring. But I'm really excited because right now we're in a really good spot. We have a lot of uh, produce coming in. There we go. We have uh, we actually have a family with their uh, looks like their grandmother or their mother, and this is grandma to the the little ones here. She's already 16 and she's 12, so pretty soon uh, they can get married and, and move out on their own. So perhaps we have a, a, a young lad is of age to marry then uh, it doesn't look like so far no closest one's 11 years old up oh, 12 or is that a is that a girl looks like a boy so um, yeah pretty soon in a few years we're gonna have uh, 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 children within our community marrying each other and wanting their own house which is going to be great. That's when you know you kind of made it. You 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 made it. You know the next generation is getting ready to take over. Uh, one of the things we're going to have to think about though pretty soon is uh, death care, which is just basically a cemetery uh, with a little chapel. A chapel's not necessary, uh, so I think we'll just build a cemetery uh, and leave room for a chapel later on down the road. Or even a church, full-fledged full church, if we want to do that. Uh, at some point, they're going to demand uh, religious services. Not right now. So that's good. That's good for us for now. Don't have to worry about it. See where these guys are working. So she's unemployed. He's a laborer. So their monthly income is $2.50. Two, two coins. Uh, and we are still bleeding money. Just absolutely hemorrhaging money. So we need to come in here and do our economy like I was talking about before. So we lost 658 24 cents last year. Basic monthly wage. No. <laughs> Buck 50. Okay. Buck fifty. Laborers' wage is two. Managers two twenty-five. Uh, two fifty-five, and, and and these are connected. So, uh, market product products price is going to be one hundred percent. We're going to purchase them for seventy percent, though. House rents going up to sixty. Uh, sixty and land tax is going up to twenty. Wealth tax is going up to. 50, 50 cents and actually 80 cents and then tavern tax which we don't have to worry about that is going to be 50 cents so we're going to keep an eye on this and we're going to watch 11 1108 
see how we're doing and uh and hopefully uh, we start going in the green uh next year this year i guess because we need it we need to be able to purchase things and you can go into debt to purchase stuff on the on the world market but um from other 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 settlements near, that are nearby but uh uh i don't want to and and the economy here is so complicated it's really hard for for you know if you if you don't know this that you have to build this to get to this to change this where you're just going to bleed money forever you know it takes a few playthroughs to figure that out oh it snows melting let's check it out see it melt off the roofs a little bit look at that that's cool melt off the grass the roofs melting off the roofs over here a little bit new season is upon us and we're gonna we're gonna check out uh, overlay workers the, the spider hand of uh, farm come to life here we go got uh, some people Workers and laborers. All right. So not too many people. Just four people working right. The manager doesn't work it. They just supervise. <laughs> so, oh yeah, new families coming in. Perfect. So that's going to be right here. And they have a a, a grandpappy as well. A twenty year old. Uh, 20 year old daughter so she is of marrying age but there's nobody in our village old enough to marry her yet so unfortunate for her she's like yes new life new place to live i'm gonna find myself a great husband and move into my own get away from these freakos and nope <laughs> not yet it will eventually happen we will we will we will have someone for her to marry sooner than rather than later, I'm sure. And there we go. And then we have seven people working in the fields. Uh, you see over here, the status bar, we are sowing the wheat. That's field right here. We're, we're not plowing it because we don't have any oxen uh, to, to which to attach to plows, which we haven't built because we have no oxen with which to attach to them. And uh, ooh, we need some uh, some benches out here because we don't want them to run all the way back to their house or somewhere else to uh, to take a little rest. We want them uh, right here, working until they drop. Absolutely, until you drop. Okay. I really like the maple trees. Utilize those where I can. I, I will hold off on, on much more than that. We will really start to decorate around and, and plant stuff and, and do things once we start to see how the place is evolving, which is going to be great. Uh, right now, we don't need three guys working out there. We can We can slowly build these houses. It's not that important right now. Uh, we need more. Uh, we need more people working on like the fishery and the the boat yard needs a guy because he has to fix the boat right now. <laughs> oh yeah, cart parking is done, so we we want to move these over here. Basically, drag them here to here. Want to add another one, so this guy is going to get to work building a cart. Once these are all transferred over, we can just delete this uh, this old bot, this old cart place, and uh, there we go. And we open up this area for more development. All right, so we got the uh, the wheat planted. We are currently sowing the buckwheat and on the potatoes. <clears throat> Six people working the farm right now. 
And that's another reason why I didn't want to, uh, I wanted to share the fish with the pumpkin and, and raspberry uh, market stall because I wanted, I didn't want to use another, another woman at the market stalls when I knew that we were going to need some stuff going on over here at the farm. So we have another guy, Steph, Stepan. He's a, uh, he's, he's Grampy. He's uh, some little kid's Grampy out there. And he lives right there. He's he's one of the new ones. She could be working. Is she is she working Dolia? Yeah, right there. There she is. So, uh, Grampy and uh, a different family's Grammy. They are uh, they're working the fields. That's that's perfect. So we got the um, we got the buckwheat planted. Now we're working on the potato field. Plenty of people out there with just three fields to plant. It doesn't take too long. Um, really would prefer it to be all planted by like beginning of April. Really, we're, we're at the beginning of like into May right now. So the potatoes, unfortunately, are not going to grow that much. They're just, they're, they're not going to get uh, ripened too well. So... It's just the reality of, of limited people available to do the job at the moment. So it is what it is, and uh, and we're just going to have to live with it. All right, so uh, we haven't seen anything super new yet. Uh, we, we've looked at some stuff, but we haven't really built it. So um, we will get to that eventually I, I promise you that we will get to that eventually uh, matter of fact I'm gonna set up uh, three orchards right now we're gonna set them up out here by the farmlands perhaps right out here And I want that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do want that one. <laughs> and one more for good measure. We're going to put that one out here. Right there. So what these are going to do is give us some apples, apricots, and cherries uh, subsequently. And we're going to be able to sell those at the market as well. Uh, there we go. So... Right now we just have some raspberries in here. That's it. So we've we've gone through our pumpkin. We only have two left. Uh, we don't have too many people uh, doing pumpkins, but that's that's okay because eventually we will. We will have plenty of people doing all sorts of different things. We got one, two, three, four more houses to go, and uh, these guys just now got in, so they just now planted their stuff. It's probably not going to be ready for a while. It might not even be ready this season. For this year, I should say. So it is what it is. But this house is almost completed. We're going to wait for this house to be done. And then I think we're going to call it there. And uh, gonna, we're going to enjoy, enjoy the game further in the future. And, and again, if you know what I need to tweak in OBS to get this sucker to work properly, please let me know and I will do so before I do any more recording so it, it, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give the first episode a little bit of time to gather some comments and 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 also you know think about a name for our village uh, remember it's a Ukrainian uh, developer this is based on uh, Ukrainian uh, 18th century so Keep that in mind but uh think of some names for our little village here let's take a, a big broad look at it above and just appreciate what we have going on here and uh so if you liked what you saw you want to see more ostrov in the future from uh from this channel please drop a like on the video that allows me to at a glance kind of figure out uh, what people want to see and what people really don't care about if they you know just ignore it 
Uh, of course, leave a comment um, as well about what you think about the game, what you would like to see from the developer in the future. Obviously, we haven't seen even half of the game yet. We have a lot of production chains we can go through, do a lot of stuff there, but uh, we're, we're on our way. We are on our way, and uh, I like our little Stonehenge marketplace there. <laughs> uh, but until next time, be safe out there. Have a good one, and we'll see you later.